So Python provides a facility where you can capture a keyboard input using the input function. So this input function reads what the user types on the keyboard and returns it as a string. Now let's look at an example where uh, we combine the input and print um, and when printed to capture a person's name and then displayed on the string. So the first thing we want to do is to create um, use the input function. So we just type input function, right? And then we provide some string here. Uh, let's say enter uh, enter your name, for example. Okay. Uh, enter your name, right? And then we store this as a variable called name. Okay. Uh, like that. All right. And then we print it out. Uh, or display it on the screen, we just type uh, print, then we, you know, like that. So when we print this, so it prompts us to enter a name. I could say, you know, uh, Jane, for example. Okay. So as soon as it captures that, it outputs it uh, using the print function. Okay. Great. So what if we wanted to read numbers as, as input? Okay. So first of all, uh, let's see, you know, uh, this example here. So we want to capture uh, a number. So we want to prompt the user to enter a number, okay? Uh, and then we want to check whether that uh, variable is actually a number. So let's go ahead. So let's say we type 10, okay? So it captures that, but it tells us actually it's still a string. So how do we uh, ensure that actually what we enter as a number becomes a class uh, integer, for example. To do that, we need to uh, force or typecast uh, the input into int explicitly. To do that, we just say int, then we just surround that by a parenthesis so that each time whatever uh, input is captured here will be converted into an integer. So let's repeat that again. So we type there, if it's a number, let's say 10, again, it will check now for the type and now it's been converted into an int, all right? All right, so again here, um, we can build a simple program, right? That says, hello. Let's uh, first of all, add a code here and we can go ahead and uh, uh, first of all, we can say print and we can say we want to uh, uh, build a program that first of all, uh, kind of welcomes you and then create a variable called name. Then we type their input, right? We use the input function. Right, and say enter, enter your name. Okay. So then we can put there uh, maybe a color, for example. And then here we want to print. So we want to combine maybe a string and say hello. All right. So we want to say hello. And then we want to um, concatenate that with the variable here, what's been captured here. So to do that, we're going to use the plus sign here to uh, concatenate. Remember, we have already looked at that. So we wanna concatenate with this variable here. So that now, uh, if for example, you enter a name here, Jane, John, Linda, you just say, hello, Linda. Okay, so let's go ahead and type that, uh, run that. So let's say here, say Linda. Okay, so here now uh, it just, uh, you know, outputs welcome, enter your name. Then the name here, captured is Linda, and then it just uh, greets us as hello, uh, Linda, okay, as simple as that. All right, and that just wraps us how to capture uh, keyboard input uh, in Python.